Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux on your Mac operating system virtually using UTM. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Kali Linux. And the first link which will appear here will be from kali.org. So we are going to click on this link. And straight away uh, on this home page, you will see this download button. So we are going to click on this download button. And here you will see a few options. So you have this uh, installer images, virtual machines and other options. So I'm going to click on the installer images here. And then when you scroll down a little, you will see uh, this option for Apple Silicon chip. So I'm going to select the Apple Silicon chip option here. And then I'm going to click on this option, which is for the installer. So let me click on the installer option, which is going to start the download of this Kali Linux 2025 installer dot iso file so it's around 3.6 gb file at the time of making this video so i'm going to wait for this file to download now while this file is downloading let's see how we can install utm on our mac operating system so just search for utm and the first link which will appear here will be from mac dot get utm dot app so we are going to click on this link i'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also and straight away you can see the download uh, button here you can also see the description here which says securely run operating system on your mac and you can scroll down and read more about this utm tool so here i'm going to click on this download button which is going to start the download of this utm.dmg file. So once this utm.dmg file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this utm.dmg file and we are ready to install the utm tool. Here you just need to select the utm icon and then press command key and drag and drop this utm icon on your applications folder, which is going to install utm on your mac operating system now once utm is installed we can minimize this and then we can go to the launch pad area and we can see this utm icon here so i'm going to open the utm tool from here and you can see utm is successfully installed and it's running on our mac operating system and once you have utm installed just open utm and we are going to create a new virtual machine so i'm going to click on new here and then i'm going to select virtualize option here and then select the uh, linux option and then on this next window we are going to uh, browse for our iso file so you can see boot iso image i'm going to click on browse option and then select the iso file which we have downloaded for the mac apple silicon chip so let's uh, click on open, which is going to load this ISO file here. Then I'm going to click on continue here. And then hardware you can allocate based on the memory and CPU available on your Mac operating system. So in my case, I'm going to just go with uh, around 8000 megabyte here. And for the CPU core, I'm going to allocate around eight uh, cores here. And then I'm going to leave other things as default and then click on continue here. And the storage which I want to use here is let's say 100 uh, GB. And then I'm going to click on continue. And then if you want to create a shared directory file, you can browse for that directory and select that. For now, I'm going to select downloads as my shared folder and click on open and then click on continue and then you will see the summary here so your uh, machine name will be linux in my case i'm going to name it as uh, kali linux and then you can also uh, click on this option which says open vm settings and then you have other settings which are visible here right so i'm going to save 
all those settings which is going to create my virtual machine and open this kind of window here so here in the under the system i will be able to see the architecture here and then other settings like display and network settings and you can see other settings related to your virtual machine so i'm going to click on save for now and then once my uh, virtual machine is saved i can click on this play button and see if my installation starts so at this point you can see the boot is starting and then we are in the installation window of kali linux so here you have uh, all these options install graphical install advanced option and other options we are going to go with the graphical install here so let's select this graphical install and then click on uh, enter here so there is this problem when you start uh, your kali linux using this method when you click on the play button so you can see it's a blank screen here so let me shut down uh, this machine first of all and then click on okay which is going to stop this machine and then i'm going to just close this window and then we are going to edit uh, the settings once again so right click on this uh, kali linux option and then click on edit here and then here on the left hand side you will see this new option so click on new option and then click on serial here and what it's going to do is it's going to add the serial option here and then once you click on save and play your machine once again so let me just click on play here it's going to open two windows one is this installer window and other is the serial window here so we are going to use the second window which is the serial window to start the installation this time i'm going to use the first option which is the install option and then click on enter button and now i can see the next option so from here i can select the language i want to select the english language so i'm going to press enter here and then you can select the country or territory so from here i can just navigate up or down and select the country right so in my case i'm going to just select india here and then click on enter and then you can also select the key map so depending on the region uh, in which you are present or the keyboard layout your macbook support you can select the keyboard layout from here so for my keyboard layout i'm going to select the german keyboard layout because i have the german keyboard layout on my mac and then press enter here which is going to just start loading additional components and then here on the next window i can see please enter the host name for this system i will leave the host name as kali and then i'm going to just select continue and then press enter and the domain name i will uh, name the domain name as kali here and then once again select continue and then press enter the full name for the new user you can give any name for the new user for example in my case i'm going to give the name code bind here and then once again continue and then the account username i'm going to leave it as code bind in my case you can give any name uh, of your choice and then press on continue and then choose the password i'm going to provide a very simple password here and then i'm going to just select continue and then i'm going to confirm my password here and then once again press on continue so on this next window it's asking me to provide the partition disk option i'm going to select the first option which is the default option which is guided use entire disk and then press enter 
and then I'm going to press enter once again and I'm going to leave this option as default. And then on this window, I'm going to select all files in one partition, press enter. And then I'm going to select the finish partitioning and write changes to the disk option and then press enter. And then on this next window, it says write the changes to the disk. So I'm going to select yes here and then press enter, which is going to start the installation of this base system. So let's wait for a few seconds. On this next window, I will leave it as default, which is desktop environment and then press enter here. So here I'm going to just press on tab option to uh, select the continue option and then press enter. Now on this uh, next window, I can see uh, this option which says finish the installation, installation complete. So here continue is already selected. So I'm going to press on continue option here and it says finishing the installation. And once the installation is finished, it's going to restart by itself. And once you see this kind of window, just close these windows once again. So I'm going to close this window. And then I'm going to click on this shutdown uh, option here. So let me click on shutdown and then click on OK, which is going to shut this uh, uh, virtual machine. And then I'm going to cl close this window. So once you are done with the installation, the very important step is to clear this ISO image. So here you will see this drop down menu. So you need to select clear option here. Otherwise, your uh, uh, virtual machine is going to start the installation process and not going to start the actual virtual machine, right? So just select the clear option so that here you will see the empty option, right? Once you have done that, let's start the Kali Linux virtual machine using this play button once again after the installation. And let's see if it starts. And you can see it starts, right? And then you can see the user interface for Kali. So here I'm going to provide my username and password. And then I'm going to click on login. And you can see I'm logged in to my Kali Linux uh, desktop. And now I can start using my Kali Linux uh, on my Mac operating system using UTM. So from here, I can open the terminal and the first command I generally run here is the sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade commands. And once you are done with those commands, you are ready to use Kali Linux on your Mac operating system virtually using UTM. So this is how you can install Kali Linux on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.